Hi there. This video will describe how to create a health progress bar uh, when we increase or decrease health on the UI for a first person shooter game in the Unreal Engine. Previous videos we set it up so that uh, we just dis display in the health text in the top left of our UI and when I run over a damage object it decreases the health. When I run over a pickup object it increases the health. So that's just increasing or decreasing an in integer value. Uh, but what about like a health progress bar? So uh, watch the previous video for how I set up the increase decrease health and the UI but in this video we're going to talk about adjusting that and adding a progress bar uh, to show the health. So show health in a visual bar. I'm going to go to my UI folder and double click on my widget for health and I'm just going to add to this you can replace this with a progress bar but I'm going to add to this. So under the palette I'm going to type in progress bar and I'm going to drag this to the canvas and I'm going to put this underneath the health. So we'll drag this down. Um, let's see, just increase the size something like that so it matches the size there and maybe it'll be a little bit bigger. All right. Maybe we'll snap it up to right there. That works. All right, so uh, that we can compile and save to get that started there. So that creates the bar, and we can come into the fill color and change the fill color to whatever we might want. So if I change the fill color to maybe like this kind of pinkish red color. There you go, like a dark pinkish red. That'll work. So that'll be uh, the fill bar, and what we want to do is with this progress percentage, we want to fill that up when the health goes up and down. We can also change this to like uh, fill from center if we wanted to, or top to bottom, so we'll fill down, uh, bottom to top, whatever we want to do. Uh, we're going to do left to right. So I'm going to put that value at zero to begin with. All right, so what we need here is actually a float value. Uh, the way we created the increase or decrease health with a health value was actually an integer. So we need to convert our integer into a float value and then reference that in our widget here. All right, so before we move over to our uh, player character to create the float, in the progress percent, we're going to bind create binding. Okay, so that creates this uh, variable called uh, progress bar, uh, and then we're going to connect that up in our uh, node once we reference our float variable. Okay, so let's just go ahead and compile and save, and then we're going to go, I'm going to close this for right now, we're going to open up our character blueprint, and we need to be able to convert our health integer to a float uh, when we need to reference that for our progress bar. <coughs> so we're going to create a new variable, and we'll just call this one health float, and we're going to change the variable type to float. All right, so we need to set our health float uh, to whatever the health value is in our different areas. Okay, we really need to only reference the health float when we're decreasing or increasing the health. So from our health float, we're going to drag in a set health float. And the first area is after, whenever we set our health is when we also want to set our health float. So over here, after this, in the increase health, after the first set health, I'm going to drag these things, oh, drag the branch over some, and we're going to funnel in our set health float. So after we set our health integer, then we want to set our health float, and we want to connect up the health variable to our health float variable. Move this over. There you go. All 
All right, uh, so we have these kind of extra nodes for the print string. We actually don't need those. Um, but we're also going to set our health float after this one. So any, like I said, any, any place where we are setting our health value, we also want to set our health float. Move it over there. All right, and just to clean this up, move all this out a little more. And that could move up here to get out of the way. There you go. All right, looks better. So anytime we're setting our health, we want to set our health float. So we're also setting our health up here. So let's take all of this, well, actually right here, I'm moving all that over there. And then we will set our health float after we set our health up here as well. So then we can kind of copy paste that, move that down. and connect everything up. All right, there's one more time we're, we're setting our health, which is at the begin play. So we also want to come over here and do set health float when the game starts playing and set the health there. So com compile and save. We just want to make sure every time we're setting our health that we are converting it to a float as well or setting our health float value there. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, so back in our UI uh, widget health. And let's go to our progress bar and look at our graph. And we have our event graph that we've created before that we cast it to our player. That's going to be important for us here in a second. And then here's our get percent uh, that's going to determine how far the progress bar goes by. All right, so we need a reference to the player, so we're going to get our player, drag from the variables, get a player. Move this over here. And then we're going to drag out from the player, and we're going to find health float. Get health float. There you go. And then from the return node of the get percent, We need to do a couple of things. We're going to connect this up, but we want to do health float, drag out from that and choose the divide symbol, float divided by float. And we'll say this health float value, whatever that is, divided by 100 uh, is going to be my new uh, progress bar percent value. All right, so let's compile and save. And let's go test this out. All right, so my health bar is at 100 as default. It's pink all the way to the right. There you go. If I roll over my target, that reduces me down. If I roll over again, it reduces down to 50. Now the 25. We even go to zero. And uh, it, this should match the health value above that, zero now. And if I go to my health increase, goes back to 25, back to 50, and then back to 75. So that's how we can create a health progress bar instead of a value uh, change between the two. All right, that'll wrap up this video on how to add a health progress bar.